So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to implement dependent lists inside an editable table. So this is our editable table. And just to show you, if I go into a row, I can edit the values here. And we have a list here. And you can see that right now the list has various sets of departments over here, OK, about five of them. However, if the salary here is going to be updated to, let's say, 4,000, then you would see that the list only has two departments where the salary can be applied. Okay. And the other thing to show here is we also have another list here, which right now shows you three locations for the sales department. If you will switch to another department, for example, let's go back to the um, 2000 over here and pick up the IT department, you would see that the list here would change accordingly. Okay, so how do you implement this? Um, what we have here is basically um, lists that are populated from functions that decides their values. Okay, so in the page, I have two uh, functions, one here and one here. This one accepts the salary as a parameter, and based on the salary that is inserted, we basically decided to show just those two departments or to show all five departments that you see here. Okay, and this is what we're returning here. We're returning an array that has a department and an ID um, for an object. Okay, so an object with two attributes and five of those inside an array. Okay. And similarly, we have another function here that accepts the department as a parameter and then returns again um, sets of values for our list of values. If you then go and look into the code of the page, then here is our department field, okay? And here is our select one component. And you can see that the um, options for this, okay, are defined as a return from our function and we're passing in the value of the row that we are currently editing. So the current row, the salary, this is what we're passing in. And then we also indicate that in the array that we're returning, the value is in the ID and the label is in the department. Okay. And similarly, we have here the location. Um, and again, we are passing in the department to the second function. And this is how you basically implement it. You can see more details on the blog uh, about the code and how to use it.